So very recently, Microsoft announced that they are integrating their latest browser Edge with ChatGPT. Is it going to be a Google search killer? How relevant is this for you? All this and much more coming up in this video. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. On 7th February 2023, just a few days back, Microsoft announced its upcoming plans on their latest browser Edge, Bing search engine and its integration with ChatGPT. Or you can also say a newer version of ChatGPT into Bing search engine. And in this video, I will bring to you my first impressions on this. How can you get it? How it works? What can you expect from this in near future? And in the last, I will share some documentation where you can read more on this and keep a track of latest updates. So let's head over to the Edge browser and let's Bing. Okay, so first thing first to start with, you need to have the latest Edge browser and then you have to open bing.com and once you do that you will reach to this home page of microsoft bing and just along with this microsoft bing logo you will notice a new feature which is called chat and i will explain this awesome new feature in a short while so please stick around besides this chat option you can see the other options also available for example work images videos or maps so these are the regular ones regular options we all know about them we are not going to discuss these features today we are more and only interested in this chat feature and how this works so let's dig this further here you can see that we have normal search bar it says search the web if you want to search anything for example let's say az 900 questions so this one here will give you results on AZ 900 questions. We have all work, shopping, images. Let's go to the videos part. And the good part is that you can note a handful of videos from your own channel, the techblackboard.com. So in case you are interested and are preparing for AZ 900 exam, these are the videos probably you might need to have a look and maybe subscribe to the channel. But anyways, for this video, we have to jump back to the Microsoft Bing. I'm on the homepage of Microsoft Bing. Here, once again, let's focus on these gray boxes here. So these gray boxes here are preloaded ideas or sample searches that are designed to show you the capabilities that comes along with Bing with the integration of chat GPT. So here you can see Microsoft has given you four example searches. The first one says I need to throw a dinner party for six people who are vegetarian. The second one says I am planning a trip for our anniversary in September. The third one says that arts and craft ideas with instruction for a toddler using only cardboard boxes. And the last one says that plan me a workout from my arms with no sit-ups and no gym equipment. Let's try this out. Now here you can see the cool new feature is coming up here. You can see this chat is getting loaded. You can see more. And then you can see it keeps on adding lot of new options. This is a similar feature as we have seen in chat GPT interface as well. So you can see it keeps on adding, adding and lot of options are getting added. So this is a kind of sample search or sample idea that Microsoft is using to show you the capabilities in all new Bing search. So what exactly is happening here? Using artificial intelligence, it is now trying to create a workout plan for me. And like any other great workout plan, it starts with warm up exercises. You can see five minute warm up exercises and then they're followed by push ups. We have dips. We also have plank and lot of other options all are generated using artificial intelligence and finally down here in the page you can see that it gives you an option to chat if you click on this you will get this message as of now which says that chat mode is only available when you have access to the new bing also please note my friends that i am already in the wait list of microsoft new bing so currently this chat feature is not available or you can say it's not live but you can always register yourself in the wish list as i have done and once you do that you will receive this kind of mail from microsoft confirming your addition in the wish list and now let me show you a really cool feature here let me click on this close this and now I will come to the top. Here you can see that we have a feedback kind of thing. We can choose whether we like this new AI feature or disliked it. And just along with this, we can see these three dots here. If you click on these three dots, you can see an option to copy. Let's copy this. And now let's paste everything in Notepad so that I can show you what new feature has come here. And here you can see that everything, all the AI generated text or the search is now available in this notepad here. 
but the cool feature here is this one in the last section of the notepad you can see the source of the AI generated results. So basically Microsoft is telling you the source of the information that was used as a base to generate all these artificial intelligence result sets. So for example, you can see the first source of information was this 30 minute no equipment arms and abs workout and this was the website that was used as a base for this search and not only that you can also see what is the date it was accessed on. Also friend the same thing is available here you can see here when you reach to this search result you can see these small numbers here I can zoom a little so that you can see it a little better. So you can see these small numbers here and when you hover around on these numbers you can see a link appearing. This link is the source of the information. When you click on this, it will take you to the source website from where these AI based search results are produced. So all together a very neat feature really transparent from Microsoft. I really like this idea where Microsoft is also updating us. What is the source of the information that has been used to generate AI based results and friends. This is the big difference when you're using the chat GPT directly or you're using this chat option in Microsoft Bing in chat GPT. You won't get this source information which is available when you are using Bing search console. So is that all for today? No, I have one more feature to show you go to the home page of Microsoft Bing and here you can see this one more option which says learn more and this will bring you to this page here it says introducing the new Bing and you can see there are a lot of options popping up here now let's say that you want to have some help on coding let's click this one and I'm sure that you recognize this format which is very very close to chat GPT here you can see it's generating code for me to generate a Fibonacci sequence in Python and in case you are interested you can just copy and paste this coding there are no copyrights you can simply copy and paste without worrying anything and that's not all in case you want to tickle your funny bone you also can have some jokes so here you go you have a chicken joke here read it loud laugh loud and make other also laugh also my friends you can see that we have other options like we have poem we can also explore the options like story so lot of options are coming up in this new Bing features and you can see that we have a short story here already generated maybe you want to use these stories in your child homework or other projects as well and friends as I promised in the opening part of the video this is the very latest Microsoft documentation that contains all what is coming in Microsoft Bing a lot of information on AI powered Microsoft Bing and Edge is given in this documentation you can see all the features that you can expect in new Microsoft Bing examples are given with the layout the pictures everything is here read this documentation the link is right there in the description box so that was my first impression my exploration of what is coming from Microsoft in the world of AI hopefully this helps you in case you want to share some thoughts do reach us in the comment section below and please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to keep your cloud and AI based learning up to date. I will see you in the next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching.